Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an HP O in one. So this is the back of the computer, and my screen is cracked in the front. But what I wanted to show you here is to look at the model number. If you somewhat upside down your computer, and if you take a look at the bottom here, you can see that it says HP 24 DD021. So this is HP all in one one PC. The model is the 24. It could be a different model here. Mine is the DD0210. Yours could be a different slightly model. But more or less, if you have the same look of the computer, uh, you may be able to follow along the video, but just kind of uh, go as you if you see the difference, okay? So the first thing I like to do is to show it to you that you need to pry open this thing, this plastic here. So let's go ahead and get a metal prying tool. It is just like a clipper that clips onto it. If you pry it and push it hard enough, you can separate that little plastic. Once you have get the plastic separated, go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. And we are removing this one screw right here. And again, you need to work on that other screw here. Once you have unscrew both sides, the entire stand will just come right out. Once the stand is removed, let me take a look here. I think the next step, you're probably able to separate the LCD screen. So I guess we need to uh, lay it flat first. And then the next step is to pry open the front um, speaker plastic here. It has been a while since my last uh, teardown on this model here, so I'm not quite remember. But I believe you need to pry open that plastic here, which I feel like is true. Alright, so there are a bunch of clipper that clips onto it. Um, you just have to pry it up and that plastic would just come right off. Put this on the side. Now you can see the entire screen with some of the screws here at the bottom. What I like to do is to remove all the screws. So far, all the screw looks the same to me. I don't see any difference in terms of the screws. Um, so it's okay for you to mix match them if you somewhat by accident, rip, you know, um, mix match your screw. I don't think that it's a big of a deal, but it's a good practice to have the right screw to the right slot where you remove them. Okay, I think I have removed all the screws now. Let's put them on the side. The next step is to remove the entire screen. So what I think I need to do
is to pry the screen up. So I use the metal prying tool and I stick it in between. I try to angle the camera here. So I try to stick it in between the screen and the white plastic. Stick it in and pry it up. Once one side gets up, I'm just holding down the screen and I'm lifting it up, lifting it straight up. Do not disconnect anything because the cables are still attached to it. So what I'm trying to say is do not just pull the screen up because the wiring and the cables are still attached to the LCD screen. So the first thing I like to do is to disconnect this black cable here by si simply lift it straight up. Okay, so the black cable on this part is just a connector. You lift it straight up. Okay, and then the next part here is we're going to talk about the LCD cable, this part right here. So what you want to do is there's this little white clip. It's hard for me to show it to you in one angle. Okay, so the white clip is what you need to open up first. Okay, flip open that clip up. Okay, so this white little clipper lift it up it doesn't disconnect it just lift it up to get loose so that this cable lcd cable can come up okay once you have done that part this i wonder what this is that just came off no idea so let's just lift it down Okay, so I guess there's only two cables attached to the LCD screen. And once you have removed it, so you can see the entire screen, you just one piece like this. All right. Um, before we continue changing out the screen, I'm sure you have some questions for me regarding about the internal part of the computer. Uh, please go ahead and comment below. I do reach a comment and I do answer any of your computer questions, okay? So let me quickly do a quick tour, walk you through what are the things that you're looking at. This is your CPU fan. The copper heat sink goes onto the CPU. Your RAM is hidden underneath here. So what you wanna do is this, you just lift the thing up. Okay, I guess there are two screws holding onto it. Sorry, I kind of off track. I just wanted to share uh, some of the uh, the thing that I think that is helpful for you. So there are two screws that hold on holding down to the bracket. Once you remove that, you can see that you have the uh, DDR4 RAM installed in the computer, and you have two slots of it. Okay. So if you want to add additional RAM, you can by just simply do what I just did. Okay. There you go. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together. And if you're not sure where to buy the tools from, the LCD screen from, or maybe even maybe even the, uh, the RAM or the hard drive, go ahead and check the link in the description below. Um, I have them listed on eBay or maybe uh, on Amazon where you direct you to those um, website to get the replacement parts all right so let's finish talking about the internal part of your computer we are going to continue to talk about the lcd screen so this is the screen that we remove so the next step you like to do is to remove all the screws so go ahead and remove all these screws we need to remove all this To get to the LCD screen. Two, four, six, eight. 
I have about nine screws in total. I might be missing some screws, but we'll see. Um, the next step is to go ahead and open up this plastic here. We do not need the plastic because we need to get that cable out. And then what you want to do is to press the both sides of the clipper and slide that cable away from your body. Press that little clipper here. Okay, the two sides clipper, press it and slide it away from you. So that we need to save and reuse after. Same for this cable, we need to save it and reuse it after. All right, so I guess there's 10 screw in total. There's one little one here, right in the center. So there are 10 black screw, and this screw is a little bit different compared to the rest of other screws here. So make sure you know that this skinny little tiny one is go in the center of that plastic. Now, once you have that, make sure you do not break this cable at the bottom left. And you can see that the cable is go went through that plastic so save this plastic because we need to re reuse it later on now the next step is to disconnect this cable so this little cable here at the bottom left you want to press there's a little clipper press and push it away from you or press and pull and that way you can remove this cable. We're gonna save it on the side. Now here comes your entire screen. You just have to replace this entire screen all together. If you're not sure where to buy the parts from, I'll show it to you. You want to take a look here. It says M238HVN01.1 AU Optronics. Okay, that would be the mate of this screen. And of course, the connector here, I think this is the 40 pin connector. Um, do not mark my words on this, okay? It could be a 30 pin connector or 40 pin, but check the description later on. I'll try to correct myself if I make a mistake here. So when you buy a screen re replacement, make sure you have that little um, cable connector here at the bottom left. And also the bottom right is where the LCD cable goes in. Now, obviously, I do not have the new screen with me at this moment because I just wanted to take it apart and find the right serial number and I'll purchase the screen later on and install it. So assuming this is the new screen that just arrived, came in from the mailbox, okay? And all you have to do is to do a reverse process on what you need to do. So again, make sure you install this cable first, right? Once you have installed, stick through this cable here at the bottom okay just a reverse process align the back cover all together in the right position so it's pretty straightforward you just want to make sure you match all the holes where the screw is going to go back in put all the black screws all around the screen and that one special tiny screw in the back of the center right here once you have done that part, remember this long cable, insert back into the screen. Okay, and then do the rest of the step by transferring the screen back to your computer right here. Okay, so it's just pretty much a reverse process to do that. Um, putting back the cable here as well as the, uh, make sure the clipper is open and that LCD cable go back in. Press this new screen down because they are all clipper on the side. You need to press it down. You're gonna hear like crackling sound. That is normal. Just press it down. Make sure it's all installed correctly. And do not forget all these white screws that I removed from 
the underneath here. So you just have to re-put it back all together and this little speaker cover and press it down. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, I do not have the new screen, so I'm not going to do putting the broken screen back together. Um, but I'll end the video here. I hope that the video is helpful for you. And if you really find the video is helpful, but I just ask a small favor from you, you just give me a like or smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I always read your comment. Comment below. Let me know how, you, how did you do. And any computer question, I will try to answer you in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. Wish you the success in the screen replacement. And bye now.